Today, I'm going to recreate some cartoon cat scenes in Minecraft. I bet a lot of you know him, that black cartoon cat. He's pretty famous, made by Trevor Henderson, and I'm going to build it all here in Minecraft. So I'll need a few things. The 3D model of cartoon cat, a map for the backdrop, and then to film the scenes. Check this out. There's this YouTube channel I showed you guys once by Horror Skunk. He's done a bunch of cartoon cat videos, so I'm going to use his vids as a reference. To make this happen in Minecraft, let's get to it. In the story I'm using as a reference, Cartoon Cat breaks into a dude's house. He sneaks up to a security camera while the guy's working. The dude realizes something's off, grabs a camera, and starts to investigate. He goes up to about where the door is, and that's the part we'll recreate. That's why I loaded up this city map. It's literally a city in Minecraft. I can use a bunch of spots as the set. I've already picked out a place on one of the floors. Yup, in this building right here. Oh, it's this one. Check it out. If we go in, this is roughly the scene where I'll place Cartoon Cat and he'll stroll around. It's gonna look pretty close to the original scene. So, here's the plan. I'll hop into the mod, choose a character. Well, two characters actually. First up, the victim, and then Cartoon Cat. I say victim, cause let's face it, he He's gonna get wrecked by Cartoon Cat. In this video, I'll have two different victims and there's a reason for it. I'll break that down for you guys later. Cool, so let's do this. I'll stand roughly over here and hit record. Up top, it'll show recording Cartoon Cat Scene 1. I'll have him walk to about here, then he'll stop right in front of this. Then I'll animate his arm, reaching out, getting close to the camera with his fingers stretching out like he's about to cover the lens. Comparing it to the original it's pretty spot on but this is just the first take now let's do the bit where the victim gets suspicious of the noises he hears in the building over here i've set up an office it's not exactly like the original if you compare but i'll have the guy seated right here working i just have to grab his skin turn him around hit record and have him here doing his thing then he's like wait did I hear something outside? He'll mention the noise and then he's gonna heat out. Of course, he needs a camera. I don't have it with me right now, but I'll likely use this Minecraft camera. So I grab the camera. It's kind of tiny, but I'll fix it. And then I'll walk with him up to about there. He goes up these stairs just like in the original scene. Then when he gets here, he's like, hey, I'm recording and I can hear that noise you're making. He gets closer to the door, then bam, he hits the floor. Hold up, let me stop the recording. Check it out. Right after that scene where he falls on the stairs, there's a room up here, just a basic small one with a TV and couch. Then this door closes and behind this door is a bathroom. That's the building's bathroom. The victim tries to hide in there while Cartoon Cat busts through the door and takes out the victim. But here's the plan. I'll pick up right where we left off in the last scene. He'll sprint over here, close the door, dash into the bathroom, lock himself in, and hide, saying, Man, I've gotta hide from this monster. What's he doing in my house? I'll just stay in this bathroom for now. He's crouched down in the bathroom. Let me adjust his position real quick. I can set up a new pose for this character, like a sitting pose, but not exactly that. I'll modify it a bit to give it that Minecraft vibe. It's gonna look like he's sort of sitting down with his hands on his cross legs, like he's super scared. I'm trying to make this look cool. Right now, he's holding the camera in his hand. He'll climb up to there. And then, as I mentioned, duck into the bathroom. The way he's sitting turned out like this. See, I said I'd try to make him cross his legs and it kind of worked. So now all I've got left is to hit record on Cartoon Cat. I come here, stop right here, and Cartoon Cat's gonna stand right in front and then bam. He'll bust open that door, slap in, step inside, and line himself up right here. Because right after our guy sit down, we've got this shot. I'm gonna position the camera up here like a security cam, zoom in, and here comes Cartoon Cat to snack on him. Check that out. It's just like the original scene. After, Cartoon Cat turns and looks straight into the cam. The final scene turned out pretty dope and it's super close to the original. So, I'll show you the whole result from the first victim scene. But hey, stay tuned because we're going to shoot two more scenes. The second victim and me and my detective buddy taking down Cartoon Cat. Alright, check out the result and I'll be right back.
What did you guys think of the first scene? Honestly, in my opinion, it was wonderful. Seriously, it matched very well with Cartoon Cat, the little music, the black and white vibe and such. But now for the second scene, look, I'm in a flat world here because I separated this little house here to be the house of victim number two. I'm using a horror skunks video for inspiration. Look, in the original skunk scene, for example, it starts with Cartoon Cat sleeping in a bed. And yeah, that does doesn't make much sense. So the second victim, who is also being represented by him, hears some noises in the bedroom and goes there to investigate. When he arrives, Cartoon Cat isn't there anymore. And then he goes out to the street and when he comes back, well, he's right there behind him. So he's also defeated as victim number two. I'm coming here in this house and inside it will be the scenario. Look, here I made a basic room where people can sit on the couch and watch TV, okay? Here there's only one decoration that later will be used for something. And here is the bedroom where Cartoon Cat will be on the bed. Since it's a security camera, the security camera will be more or less up here. So I'm already positioning it here. Cam bar, the camera is ready then I come here select the character that in this case for the second scene we will select victim number two that will be this one here and cartoon cat as well as I told you before so I stop here at the top and look the moment I press the button since the camera is already positioned there I don't have to worry I press to record and at the moment I become cartoon cat I'm gonna stand still with him up here because I can't move much. the pose he will have will be lying on the bed i just have to lay him down here okay i laid him down here i'm gonna drag him forward all crazy look at this and now i just come here and edit i can create the pose of him lying down nicely he has a long neck here unnecessary let's reduce his neck down here like this and like this okay now i'm moving his arm more or less according to what i want like here pull over here and the scene of him lying down look it turned out very good well i'm going back here to the living room and we come Come here again and now I record but with the scene of the victim he will be standing more or less here I chose this skin which is a random skin obviously it's not mine it's not anyone I know I'm gonna walk up to here there's probably someone in here because I'm hearing a noise he's gonna open and there's nothing cartoon cat already disappeared from the bed then he said oh okay there's no one let me leave. When he returns, he feels that something is wrong because Cartoon Cat is positioned right behind him. So stop recording. Get Cartoon Cat. Come here behind. And now I just stop with him here like this. I know that in the scene, he should be looking at me, but I'll leave Cartoon Cat invisible. For that, there's this mod. Blockbuster has a really cool feature. Hold on. Look at this. Wait for him to go outside. He will look and see that there's nothing. He will pass by here while the scene is being recorded. Right Right here now when he turns around he'll see that i'm here i can come up to him and take a bite as i explained to you just look if i release the scene cartoon cat is there but if i come over to the camera i have the cartoon cat 2 scene 2 editor right here behind it there's cartoon cat he was supposed to be invisible but if i create a new item an empty morph the moment the camera goes over the mod item cartoon cat disappears so i'm going to place this right at the beginning and look cartoon cat is invisible from start to finish i will make him visible just in this part it's the new 3d model right guys so just look at how the final result with the invisible cartoon cat turned out he will appear exactly when victim number two is facing away so you won't even notice him behind just like in the original scene he only appears afterward and he devours victim number two as you can see on the screen, screen. well i more or less finished the result of the first scene i'll leave it here for you to watch in the case of the second victim right he's there in the room but relax I'm still gonna do more scenes in this video one where I and my detective friend will finally defeat cartoon cat So stay tuned for the results <laughs>
What did you guys think? Now, how am I going to defeat Cartoon Cat? Remember that house that was in the flat world? It's right here in the middle of this city now. We made it look old as time has passed. And when you go inside, it's the same house, but now it's more worn down. There's fire and such. It's as if Cartoon Cat had left it somewhat destroyed. The two items I'll be using are these, a giant paper and a giant pencil, which looks quite funny. I'll come inside this house, set these two items aside, and choose the next scene. The characters will be me, Jake the detective, which is my human version, mind you, not my dog version, my friend Detective Bunny, and Cartoon Cat, who will be defeated. I'll hit the record with my detective character. We will be approaching the house because in this story i'm crafting now i'll take this item here which is the giant paper item and stick it to the wall not literally because i'll do this later in the blockbuster editing then i'll stand atop this hatch which is a trap we had set earlier i'll lower myself and will hide down there next i'll select bunny the other detective he'll already be inside with me we'll walk around here noticing the house is all destroyed he might say man Cartoon Cat sure did pass through here. He left black marks all over the floor. I'll tell him about our plan, to stick the paper on the wall. Not literally, since it will be edited later. He agrees and says, we need to head there for now. Meanwhile, I'll be recording with Cartoon Cat outside. As they're plotting, Cartoon Cat is out on the streets. I, in my role, have to wait for the entire plan to play out. So I'll try to peek through this window since it won't show in the video. When he peeks inside through the window, that's my cue to get into action with Cartoon Cat. I'll peer through this hole, waiting for the right moment. When I get close to the trap door, I'll start recording with Cartoon. Okay, they've gone inside, good. I'll then come in with Cartoon Cat, following some trails, perhaps paint or something similar. Once he gets to the paper, he's stuck. As I said to you all, there will already be a paper stuck there, which I modified. Here's how the scene looks, just for you to have a glimpse. I still need to shoot a part with this massive pencil. You can see how enormous it is compared to my hand. Cartoon Cat walks in, follows the clues, and once he reaches the paper, he gets trapped. Now, we'll record the remaining parts. I'll pick my character, create a new pose because I need to add the pencil to his hand. Look at the difference in size, it's absurdly large. I think I might scale it down. With this character, I'll be erasing Cartoon Cat. Holding the pencil, I'll hit record. It might look odd from the player's POV, but bear with me. I'll approach and use the eraser end to wipe Cartoon Cat out. I'll freeze the shot, and there, the scene's finally done. Look at us, overjoyed for pulling it off. Recall me adding the pencil to my hand? I head there, turn, and as I erase him, he vanishes. We've finally defeated Cartoon Cat. So, await the final scene with all the sound effects and the works. If you like the video, click on this other video here on the side to watch.